Okay, we're done um, with exporting images. And this is, again, I'm going inside the view, use the as example. You can do exactly the same in another applications. So overall, we'll just go ahead, render, and preview, see how their, our application will look. So what I'm going to do is open our object editor. And I want to set to about 4,000 pixel by 4,000. I know we have it over 8,000. We did it for the maps. So this is, will be a little bit less, but this is okay because I don't want too many details. We can go higher, but just as example, but the color map, I want overlay with less pixels. So we'll look a little bit nicer when we come closer. So let's go right now, reset this map. Okay, and we're going to click and loading map. Okay, right here I have a high field, so we go open that one first. Okay, we can preview, and I think the overall is okay height. We can increase, make it taller or slightly, or depend. I think we'll just go about middle size, 50. Let's go click OK. Again, this is um, set to 4000, so we can increase if we need it. Let's go click OK, take our camera. And I'll move my camera slightly above, probably right this area where we have it kind of river overlook. Okay, I think it's around this area. Okay, yep, right here. Okay, let's go a little bit higher so we can see how the map will overlay and it will bring camera down after so we can look a little bit closer. Okay, now in terrain, I'm going to, let's say scale to one. Um, at least with view, it's very important when we're using image, map it picture, we want to be sure we're using as the object parametric in this case. And let's go ahead, open image. Okay, we'll have the color map already. Let's click OK. And it should overlay. Very nice right there. We'll click OK again. And let's go to Atmosphere Editor. Just for this, I'm going to switch to Standard and remove some haze and fog so we can kind of look a little bit closer and a little bit nicer. OK, that will be and let's go to render to screen preview mode just very fast okay and we'll click on preview you can see we have it very nice those areas has come up very good i like how those steps coming so they give it nice effect okay next we can always come add water level and we can bring just slightly up maybe around right here Okay, let's go set water to one, edit material, and we'll go set um, bump maps to zero. It's almost flat water. Maybe reduce transparency. A bit deeper look for the water. Okay, I'm going to remove after exposure. And we can take a, on this point camera and bring even closer. Around here. So we can see with a bitmap. Okay, maybe around that area. Okay, and just right here so we have a little bit nicer look we'll take sunlight let's go to maybe bring slightly adjusting so we have nice beautiful shadows okay edit atmosphere and in this case i do want bring back a little bit haze okay so just a little bit right there we kind of give it perspective of the distance a little bit better. Okay, let's increase a little bit more. 
and take down. Decay, so we have a, a bit bluish. Okay, I'm also going in the sun. We could go and set soft lights, but we can leave it for now. So let's go preview at final. Okay, we have a quite a bit fast render actually going. It's about 16 seconds for this. So we have a nice um, view you can see on the water with nice applied. Okay, in some case, you know, maybe even take this terrain and bring slightly down, so. A little bit more flatter look, but because I brought down, I want to take the water level and also decrease. And we'll take transparency on water in as well. A little bit bumps, maybe zero five. And on the reflection, actually transparency, we need to add just a little bit better on reflection. So just overall, give it some kind of nicer look, a little bit. Okay, let's take camera. Bring a little bit more down. Map to third, so we can view. Okay, let me go reposition sun. Overall, what I'm doing with sun, just so we have it, some nice shadows and highlights. Let's just give it a little bit better look. We can always bring higher. Maybe too hot. Okay, let's go back to atmosphere. I just want to twinkle a little bit more with set with atmosphere create maybe kind of nice haze but same time I want to preserve details because I want to see them okay um the other things sometimes with view list if you're going inside the sun properties you can go enable shadow map which create some soft it does not work sometimes very good with uh, um, other properties, but with uh, just landscape, it's actually give it nice effect. Okay, and we can compare right here with the soft shadows. Okay, we can go open, remove soft shadows. Let's render one more time. Okay, and with hard shadows. So we kind of can, you can see right here how shadows applied. It's a little bit harder and softer look a little bit more illustration so we can even go between both of them so i do like a little bit softer let's go maybe apply this way we'll just take overall softness bring softness this way and another trick also right here is dark shadow so we can go and bring this to about 98 97 so it's make those dark areas softer but because we done um, some of this effect. I want to take lights and bring leave not to sun and take our ambient lights bluish darker desaturated so it should bring colors pop up a little bit better for us in this case. Okay we have a nice on a haze. Okay let me bring a bit more right there and you know let's go add clouds it's clouds would add significantly render more time but they add also more landscape nicer look to this case and i'm going to say make very soft whispery type clouds you can just preview right there let's go add details altitude variation So just give it a nice look. I not necessarily like this right here kind of white backdrop. And what I'm going to do is actually take the map terrain we already have it, Alt drag, and I'm just going to bring right around this area. 
and maybe even rotate so all what I'm doing it's a uh, creating some back drop on a back back right there around this area of reposition so something on the back just cover right that end we can even take a little bit more down I just don't like kind of white look right there so I'm just try to hide Okay, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and render higher resolution. And normally I render superior or ultra, but for purpose of the tutorial, final will work for us to see preview. So I'm going to render, pause this tutorial, and come back shortly when render is completed. Okay, so right here our render is done. And we can preview. We see the river. We have a very nice um, water location, of course. We can add more plants, but overall this tutorial was to look just on a shape, so we can create a nice river going on the middle with a kind of river value matching our stream, so and it's work very good. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio, and please remember this dust on the web is www.geekatplay.com.